I'll be honest, I never really thought that I'd buy the AirPods, nor did I even really think that they'd become a reality between the countless delays and issues that sort of plagued the product. But now they're here, and quite honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's start with what I like. First off, the ease of use and ease of connection with iOS is solid. You open the lid and you're connected. It's that easy. The headphones also know about your other devices, so it easily connects themselves to those devices seamlessly. Now this also goes for Android too. You go through the pair process once, and from there on out, it's a really quick pair. The other thing that I really appreciate is auto pause when you take the earbud out. It's an incredibly useful feature, especially when watching a video or listening to some music when a friend or family member comes to the door and bothers you while you're trying to listen to your shit. So, yeah. Thanks, Apple. Another thing that I really love is the battery life. In terms of real life use, I can easily go for a run or get on the train and not have to worry about battery life. Now, Apple says that the buds themselves last for about five hours, and that's basically what I've been getting. Now, the awesome thing is the case. Apart from it being essentially a large battery pack for your AirPods to charge, it also charges them very fast. So basically, if I'm using them on and off, taking them in and out of the case throughout the day, the AirPods can almost last me about three or four days of fairly regular usage, which is great. Now onto the audio and the fit. Personally, I'm not ashamed of it. I like earpods that come with the iPhone. They always fit in my ear pretty well, and they never fall out, and the audio quality always gets the job done. The AirPods are essentially earpods, just a little bulkier in the stem, and the audio quality is just a little bit punchier. So if you don't like the earpods and the way they fit, you're certainly not gonna like the AirPods. Which sort of leads me to my next point. Is it easy to lose them? Um, yeah, but no, but yeah. Let me explain. I've only lost the AirPods once, and this is because I was stupid and forgot to put them back into the dental floss case. Thankfully, I found them in my jacket pocket about three days later, but I think you get the idea. As long as you put them back into the charging case, it's a lot harder to lose them, at least for me, because I take them out of my ear and back in the case they go. Which sort of leads me to my next thing. I don't quite know where to put the case. It's not really a pocket thing since it's sort of weird and bulky and they get lost in my bag. Also, while I'm on this, this is my second pair of AirPods because the pairing button on the first unit got a whole bunch of jean lint in it, leading it to not click anymore. So do be aware of this if you plan to put it in your pocket. Now onto the bad stuff. And this is more of a criticism against people. Why are you saying that it's too expensive? I mean, yeah, $160 is a bit of cash, but in comparison to like the Braggadash or the Icon X, they're still really comparable. So price-wise, I don't think it's that bad. In fact, I'm surprised that Apple didn't price these much higher. So onto the real criticism. The controls are underdone. Basically, you have one gesture, and that's a double tap, and you can make that either play or pause, uh, or a toggle to invoke Siri. Now, Siri will help with sorting through tracks and raising or lowering volume, but honestly, I don't wanna have to use Siri in public every time I wanna skip a track. This is where something like the Braggadash has it right. Bringing more gestures to the headphones would have been a lot more useful. For instance, you could increase the volume by putting your finger at the bottom of the stem and scrolling up. I mean, I don't know how possible that is, but it would have been cool. Now, just to mention Android for a second, you don't have Siri. So essentially, you can play or pause the music by that double tap, and everything else will have to be controlled through the phone itself. And you don't even get the auto pause if you take the earbud out. So I mean, I guess that's sort of my conclusion. If you have an iPhone and you live in the Apple ecosystem, the AirPods are a great addition. But if you're like me and you prefer to stick with something like Android, there are plenty of other better options. 